So, I almost put this question on my test, but thankfully, I caught a small mistake before I do so. Let me just talk about this right here with you guys. So, right here we have if sine theta is equal to 1 half and cosine theta is equal to 3 fourths, and we are going to find out the value for tangent theta. And you might be wondering, this looks like a pretty innocent question. Tangent theta, by identity, we can say that's sine theta over cosine theta. And we see that we have the values for both of these. Sine theta is 1 half, cosine theta is 3 over 4. And then we can just simplify this complex fraction. This is the same as saying 1 over 2 times the reciprocal of this, which is 4 over 3. Reduce 1, 2, and then you will end up with 2 over 3. Yay! No, it's not yay at all, because the problem right here is actually wrong. So if you do this, I don't know what to say because we are using the bad numbers to do the correct word. So uh, don't do this. Don't do this, right? And then, yeah, it's, it's this right here. It's, it's not good. So why is this wrong though? Let's talk about it. Have a look. I was just selecting random numbers for sine and cosine, but we cannot do that. We cannot do that. Here is a fact. This is the Pythagorean identity. We must always have the fact that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta it has to be equal to 1. And this has to be true for all theta values. Negative, positive, even complex numbers. But let's not talk about the complex world. So we must follow this all the time. But if I put 1 half for sine theta, that means we will have to do 1 half squared. And then if we add this with cosine, which is 3 over 4, and then squared, do we end up with 1? No, unfortunately not, because this is 1 fourth, this is 9 over 16. And if we get a common denominator, that's 4 plus 9, which is 13, over the denominator 16. This right here is not equal to 1, so this right here is not okay. So, either you fix the sine value or you fix the cosine value up to you, but these two cannot happen together. So, what can you do? So now here's the deal. If we want to say sine theta is equal to 1 half, then we can solve for cosine theta from here. Cosine theta will be, you put this to the other side, and you take the square root, and don't forget the plus or minus. This is going to be plus or minus square root of 1 minus sine square theta. So if you pick 1 half to be sine, then just go ahead and plug that in here. We get plus or minus square root 1 minus 1 half squared. Work this out. This is plus or minus square root 1 minus 1 over 4. And that's plus or minus square root of that's 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4, which is 3 over 4. And take the square root on the top and also on the bottom. Plus or minus square root of 3 over square root of 4, which is 2. So, if sine theta is equal to 1 half, then cosine theta is either positive square root of 3 over 2 or negative square root of 3 over 2. It depends on the angle theta in what quadrant. And that's kind of like up to you if you are creating the question.